today we are going to learn about linked list data structure and this is a very important data structure in computer science a lot of concepts that we're going to learn in this tutorial will be applied to some further data structures like binary trees etc so uh, for linked list data structure you will have uh, you should know about pointers and uh, we have this pointer tutorial in the C++ section so I will suggest suggest you to just go through it and then come back to this tutorial so linked list is basically a collection of nodes so what is a node a node represents a particular type of data or you can say the data itself and these nodes are connected they all are connected using pointers so uh, let me take an example so that it will become more clearer to you let me take an example of some numerical data so I will take five random numbers 5 8 7 13 and 9 so what we are just going to do is we are going to store these numbers uh, using linked list data structure so this data is you can see that there are five numbers so we will store a number in a node and the next number will be accessed using this pointer so this is a pointer and this is a node or simply data and similarly the next data or the next value is connected using this pointer and we know that pointer stores the memory address of the of some other variable so we are going to use pointers to reference the next item of our data so we will just create nodes and connect them using pointers and one more important thing is that the last node will be null and the first node will also be null so these pointers uh, are used to reference the next data value so the concept why we are using this type of method is because we are solving a problem and the problem is how the arrays store uh, these data so what we are going to do is we are going to store these numbers in an array for that we know that we can create an array let's suppose this is an array and since it has five elements I can create let's suppose an array of 10 blocks and let me take it as int because it is storing integer values so one important thing to note about arrays is uh, in the memory status so we know that memory is RAM we know that memory is RAM and all the variables are stored in the main memory so let's let me just draw a structure of memory and our memory is divided into blocks and each of this block has some memory address and it also has some space and the space is of one byte 
and it contains some memory address so I'm writing some memory address some random memory addresses like this so important thing to note about array is that all the elements of the array is stored in the memory in a continuous manner in a continuous manner so if you're storing these uh, integers using an array they will occupy the continuous five blocks one two three four five so if you are just writing this line it will create a space of 10 blocks in the memory and all the blocks are continue all the blocks are continuous stored in the memory so the problem in this case is that uh, there will be a case when we do not have enough continuous space so let's suppose I want to store a huge data in the data structure or you can say in the array data structure so if this data is of let's suppose thousand to or you can say just thousand plus or a lot of data elements are there so you will need to access thousand plus continuous blocks which might not be available because some other program might be uh, occupying the random spaces in this memory so it will become uh, difficult to assign all the data elements in the memory in a continuous manner but we have enough memory to store the data elements to store the data elements which means that in our memory there is enough blocks to store these data elements but they are not continuous and the main reason behind it is because some other program might be occupying these random blocks so in that case Ling list is very useful uh, and the reason why it is useful is that uh, Ling list is stored in the memory not in a continuous manner the first element is stored at a random block let's suppose 5 is stored here and the next data element will be stored at some random block let's suppose 8 is stored here and to refer that the next variable is at this memory block we are going to use a pointer and that pointer will point to the memory address corresponding to the block which has the data 8 and similarly 7 13 9 can be stored randomly and we're just going to use pointers to reference them we're just going to use pointers to refer them which is useful because the data can be stored uh, in an uncontinuous manner because we are using pointers and which this type of problem is known as a space complexity problem which we will discuss uh, a lot of times but the main reason why we are introducing ling list is because they are much more efficient uh, than arrays in case when we do not have enough continuous memory continuous memory blocks so the basic idea is to 
just put the data elements in the memory at the random position and use pointers to point to the memory references of these data elements. So in the next tutorial we will just going we are just going to implement this whole linked list and what we are going we will do is we will just create a structure node we will create a structure node and this node structure will store the data and a structure pointer or you can say a simple pointer and we are saying this as a structure pointer because it is pointing to another structure because these all are nodes so uh, the main reason why linglist is efficient is just because of the continuous memory blocks and we are going to use pointers to reference them in the next tutorial we will just implement this using an example in C++ we will create a structure node and we will see how we can implement linglist in the C line IDE so Thanks for watching.